This is example 5.9 on page 188 of our textbooks. In this example, we're going to write molecular and net equation for the reaction between HI, which is hydroiodic acid, and aqueous barium hydroxide. So this is an example of an acid-base reaction, which sometimes in your textbook is called a neutralization reaction. So in this problem, they actually don't give us the products that we're going to make. We need to predict this based on the fact that this is an acid combining with a base. So typically, neutralization reactions take the form of acid plus base gives you a salt plus water. And we can think of this as it's a very similar type of reaction um, as precipitation. We're swapping partners between our ions. So first up, we're going to write the molecular equation, which involves predicting what ions um, are going to switch with one another and what products you're going to form. So first we have HI, which it states is aqueous and that's reacting with BaOH2, that is barium hydroxide. So in an acid-base reaction, the cation, the positive ion in the acid, so that's gonna be our H, combines with the negative ion of our base, which is going to be hydroxide. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion, it has a negative charge. And then our anion of our acid is going to combine with the cation of our base. So that we form, if we look at it, H plus OH gives you HOH. And if you rearrange that into a more familiar form, it's going to give you H2O. Now in this case, we're just looking at the ions. We're kind of ignoring that two until we go into balancing the equation. So it's literally just talking about this H combining with this OH to make H2O. And then this I combining with this BA to make the salt barium iodide. Ba, I, and we're going to have to have two of them because barium exists as a plus two ion. Iodine exists as a minus ion. So that is our unbalanced reaction. Now we need to look at how to balance it. So on this side, I have two iodines. So I'm gonna put a two out in front of my HI. And now that gives me one, two hydrogens, four hydrogens on my reactant side. I only have two on my product side. So I'm gonna put a two in front of my water. So now at this point, I should have two H, let me erase that random line. There we go. 2HI in the aqueous phase plus BaOH2 aqueous gives me BaI2, which is an aqueous salt, plus 2H2O which is a liquid, and we represent it kind of with a cursive L. So that's your complete molecular equation. Now we need to translate that into our net ionic. So complete ionic is kind of what we have to go through in order to make sure we have the correct net ionic equation. So in the case of acids and bases, all strong acids and strong bases break up into their ions. 
whereas weak acids and weak bases do not. So if you are wondering whether it's a strong acid or strong base, you can consult um, the slide on our chapter five PowerPoint, um, slide 57. Or there is also a table, I believe, in your textbook that talks about um, the strong acids or bases. So on our slide 57, all of the acids and bases in black are common strong acids and bases. The acids and bases in that purple color that say weak next to them are the weak acids and bases. So HI, hydroiodic acid, is considered strong, and barium hydroxide is also considered strong. So both of these are going to break up into their ions. So our complete ionic is going to be 2 H plus, then AQ, plus 2 I minus AQ, plus BA2 plus, AQ plus 2, and that 2 applies to the entire hydroxide ion, AQ. And then on the other side, we have barium iodide, which is a soluble salt. So it's a soluble, strong electrolyte. Therefore, it breaks up into its ions to produce Ba2 plus plus 2I minus. And once we get to water, because it's not aqueous, it's a liquid, it does not break up into its ions. So we just keep it as H2O liquid. So now to do our net ionic evaluation, we look and see which of these are our spectator ions. So we have 2I minus on both sides, so that's going to get crossed out. We have a Ba2 plus on both sides. That's going to get crossed out. And that leaves us with 2H plus, 2OH minus, and H2O. Which means this acid base neutralization reaction just produces water. And in the case between a strong acid and strong base, should always cancel everything out and just be left ultimately with water. So we can rewrite our complete ionic to just a net ionic as 2H plus plus 2OH minus gives you 2H2O. And technically we want to make sure this this is in its most reduced form. So all of these twos would cancel and our formal final answer would be H plus AQ plus OH minus AQ gives you H2O liquid. And that is your final ionic, net ionic. This is your complete ionic and written here is your molecular equation.